My first computer video editor was the Pinnacle DC-10+. Plus. It was a joy to edit on a computer. No need to connect two VCRs together and hope that you pause at just the right moment. I still love this software. If you use Pinnacle DC-10+, Plus or another version, leave a comment. Here, at last, is the walkthrough tutorial that came on the CD-ROM. Selecting and Arranging Scenes In this section, we'll learn how to select and arrange the highlights of a videotape using the Video Scenes album, the Playback window, and the Movie window. The first step of editing is to capture your video. When Studio captures video from a tape, it automatically detects the beginning and end of each scene. Studio then creates a picture icon of the captured scene and adds it to the Video Scenes album. These scene icons make it simple to choose your favorite parts of a video and put them in the order you want. To view any scene, you can double-click its icon and that scene will play in the preview window. A moving bar indicates the playback progress. Clicking on the play pause button in the preview window stops a scene from playing. Now, let's start making a movie. We'll add scenes to our movie by simply clicking and dragging them from the Video Scenes album and dropping them into the movie window. You can add any scenes you choose in any order you choose. You can also drag and drop scenes in between other scenes. You'll see a placement indicator highlight as you drag the new scene between the other scenes. When you drop the clip, it snaps into place, and the other clips move over to make room for it. Now that we've added the scenes that we want in our movie, we can easily change their order. Just click and drag the scene to where you want it. The placement indicator makes it easy to see where the clip will go when you release it. That's it! We've now made a rough cut that includes the scenes we want in the order we want. You can view your movie at any time by clicking on the first scene and then clicking play in the preview window. Now that we've chosen our scenes and arranged them in the order we want, let's move on. Adding Transitions In this section, we'll learn how to add transitions between our clips. Studio makes it simple to add professional style transitions like fades, dissolves, and a wide variety of wipes. First, we'll click the Transitions tab on the album. Our album is now filled with a wide variety of transitions to choose from. These transitions can smooth the change between scenes and add variety and excitement to your movies. When we click on a transition, the playback window will show us an animation of the transition effect. To add this transition to the movie, we simply click and drag it down into the movie window and drop it between the clips we want to apply it to. To view the transition effect in our movie, we can click the play button in the playback window. Hello. To view it again, we just click the back to start button and click play again. Hello. Now we will add several more transitions to our movie by simply dragging and dropping them where we want. To step through an effect, we just click on a transition and then click the Frame Forward button repeatedly. Studio provides an instant preview of the movie, complete with transitions, by clicking on the first transition and clicking the Play button in the Playback window.
you've now seen how easy it is to add exciting transitions to the clips in your movie. Let's move on. Using the timeline. Now it's time to learn how to use the timeline view to edit. While the storyboard view is handy for quickly laying out our movie, to make finer adjustments, we will use the timeline view. To display the timeline view, we just click the timeline view button in the movie window menu bar. Each picture icon is now shown in a box that represents the length of the clip. Next, we'll adjust the scale of the timeline to make it easier to work with the clips. When we hold the mouse pointer over the time scale ruler, it changes to a clock. Now we can just click and drag in the time scale to enlarge our view of the clips. This doesn't change the length of the clips, just our view of them. Adding scenes to our movie in the timeline view is the same as in the storyboard view. We simply click and drag a scene from the video scenes album and drop it where we want. Transitions can be added the same way. Now you've learned the basics of using the timeline view. Let's move on and have some fun with it. Trimming Clips and Transitions Now we'll learn how to use the timeline view to trim clips. Sometimes you will want to shorten a clip. This is easy to do in studio. Let's start by selecting a clip on the timeline. We'll move our pointer toward the right edge of the highlighted clip until it changes into a left arrow. Now we just click and drag the arrow to the left and you can see the clip getting shorter. The playback window will change to show you the new end of the clip. Let's take a look at our change. Notice that the clip of the child skating is shorter now. Maybe we'll go to the beach. Transitions can be lengthened and shortened the same way. We can go back and click play after an adjustment to see our changes. Hi, Dad. That covers the basics of editing video with Studio. Now let's see how easy it is to add professional titles. Adding titles. Studio makes it easy to add cool titles to your movies. In this step, we'll show you how to overlay professional style titles on top of your video scenes. First, we'll double click on the title overlay track at the point in the timeline where we want the title to appear below the first clip. The title editor appears. In the main window is the video frame our title will begin in and some guides to help us position it. To get started, we click inside the guides to place the iBeam text cursor where we would like the title. Then we type in our title and the text appears on top of the video frame. Now that we can see our title, we realize it looks rather plain and is too small. Let's fix it. To get started, we must click and drag across the text to select it. Now we can pick a more exciting title style by going to the View menu and selecting Preset Styles. This opens a scrolling window of different title styles and we just click on the one we like. That looks much better, but our title is a little too small. To enlarge it, just click and drag one of the handles. Let's now center the text on the screen. To do this, we click on the Justify button and an alignment grid pops out. Simply select the center button and the title moves to just where we want it. To approve our new title, we click on the green Check button. Our new title is now represented by an icon in the timeline window. Even though we have a great overlay title, wouldn't it be much cooler to have it slide in and out? By clicking and dragging transitions onto the beginning and ending of the title, we can easily control how it appears and disappears from our movie.
Now our title is ready for prime time. When we click play, you can see how it slides on and off the screen just like on TV. Now that you've seen how easy it is to create professional titles, let's move on. Adding sound. Now that we've completed the visual part of our movie, let's enhance our audio with sounds and music. First, we'll learn to add sounds to spice up our movie. To get started, we click on the Sounds tab in the album. The album is currently filled with vehicle sound effects. To preview any of them, just double-click the name in the album. To add the car horn sound effect to our movie, we just click and drag it to the sound effect track in the movie window. We'll place the sound effect at the time in the movie that we want it to occur. When we play this scene, you can now hear the horn honk as the truck pulls up. See how simple it is to enhance your movie with sounds? Let's move on and add some music. Creating background music. Creating great background music is simple with Studio. Using Studio's integrated smart sounds technology, you can choose from different musical styles to make a music clip of the exact length you want. To get started, We'll highlight the entire movie by clicking and dragging across it. Next, we'll open the toolbox and click on the button that shows a music note. You can now see Studio's background music tool. You notice that the length of the music is already filled in for us because we highlighted the movie before opening the toolbox. Now we simply select the style of music, the song, and the version of it that we want. When we click Add to Movie, the clip is added to the music track of the movie window. Now we'll close the toolbox and play part of our movie to hear how it sounds. That completes our editing. Now it's time to have Studio make the final movie. Let's move on. Making the movie. Our movie is now ready for output to tape or file. Select the Make Movie button located at the top of the screen and the album is replaced with the Make Movie window. You have the choice of making a videotape of your movie or making a digital movie, also known as an AVI file, that can be played on any Windows computer, emailed to others, put on a home page, and more. At the top of the new window are two buttons, one of a videotape and one of a hard disk. Currently, the videotape button is pressed in, and you can see the output controls for creating a finished movie on videotape. Since creating a videotape requires setting up your VCR, for this tutorial, we'll click on the disk button and make an AVI movie file to play on the computer. Now, just click Go and Studio will begin making the complete AVI movie. In the playback window, you can see the progress bars indicating the clips being combined. Okay, let's skip ahead and see the final movie. The completed movie. Congratulations! You now know the basics of making fun, creative movies with Studio. You can play the completed movie and choose where to go next. Where do you want to go next? Maybe we'll go to the beach tomorrow. Okay. If you are still here, please enjoy a full screen version of the final movie.
Maybe we'll go to the beach tomorrow. Okay. Here is the raw footage that was used to produce a day in the park. Beautiful, huh? Maybe we'll go to the beach tomorrow. Okay. Did you see that? I don't like them. <laughs> Oops. Get your hat, Zach. Do you want some potato salad? No. No? Do you want some potato salad? No. Hot out here.